Hi, I'm Ukulele Ben. This is how you play Stand By Me. Okay, today we're going to be looking at the Benny King classic, Stand By Me. And it's an easy one, but we just need to be sure of like how it goes as well as uh, the strum pattern. Let's get into it. Okay. There are the four chords coming up. So the A, so pointy finger behind the first fret of the C string, and then the middle finger on the second fret of the G string. Now for the F sharp minor, you do another thing for the A chord I just showed you, and then the ring finger behind the second fret of the E string, and it sounds like this. And the D string, the D chord, straightforward ish. It sounds like this. And that can be the pointy finger behind the second fret of the G string, the middle finger behind the second fret of the C string, and the ring finger behind the second fret of the E string. But of course, as I've shown in lessons, it could look like this. It could look like this with holding down the two with the pointy finger there. Or holding down with the ring middle finger and the ring finger at the bottom there. Find your D. Find how you do D. And finally, E seventh. Pointy finger behind the first fret of the G string. Middle finger behind the second fret of the C string. And the ring finger at the bottom behind the A string. the strum pattern I was getting a bit confused with it last time uh, I got confused with it but don't worry it is straightforward there's a simplified version which is where you just miss out the first up stroke one and two and three and four and one and two and three Just missing out the first step, which we've done in some other songs as well. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. The more complicated one looks like this. It goes. And it works like this. So you're going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So the sequence looks like this. sequence stays exactly the same throughout the song so here's what it sounds like 